Twilio Studio is a visual editor for creating Twilio applications. It works by dragging and dropping widgets that represent parts of the Twilio API and then connecting them together to create an application. If you can draw your application, chances are you can build it with Twilio Studio. Let's take a look at what an interactive voice response or IVR system would look like on a chalkboard. We would draw an incoming call and then draw a phone tree where we would press 1 for sales or say sales, or press 2 or say support for support, and depending on what the person chose, we would route them either to sales or support. And then, of course, if something went wrong in the middle section, they chose something that wasn't valid, we would route them back around to try again. Believe it or not, if you can draw this on a chalkboard, I feel like you can build this in Twilio Studio, and that's what we're going to do in this video. We'll start inside of Twilio Studio by creating a new flow. I'm going to name mine IVR, but you can name yours whatever you want. And we'll start from scratch so that we have an empty flow. Put this into full screen so things are easier to see. And the first thing we're going to do here is gather input on the incoming call. This is going to say a message and request them to either press digits or say some words. So we'll greet them and say, how can we direct your call? If they press one or say sales, we'll send them over to the sales department. If they press two or say support, then we want to send them over to support. So we just set that up uh, as a say a message inside of this gather, and we'll give that a save. We'll connect the incoming call over to the gather input widget. Now we have user pressed keys or user said something. So we have two paths here, and we wanna use this split based on widget. This is gonna allow us to branch depending on uh, what they pressed for the split on keys pressed. So we'll connect user pressed keys. And then we'll have another split for when they uh, say something. So when they have a, a voice match. So this one will be split on voice. Uh, and then we need to pick which variable. So for the gather uh, digits, or for the keys pressed, we'll do digits. And for the voice, we'll do speech result. Then we need to set up the conditions. So you click this new button and transition when the condition matches and for the digits we'll say equal to and put in a value of one so that's our first condition and then we'll create another one and set equal to two so again one for sales two for support over on the split on voice we can create our conditions here we're going to be matching against the gather inputs speech result we'll check to see if it's equal to sales and save that and then we'll create a second condition for when the speech result equals support. Excellent. So that's our phone tree. Now we have two paths through each of those splits, depending on whether the user pressed keys or they said something. Next, we want to connect the call. So we want to connect them either to sales or to support. Obviously, in this demo, we don't have a sales team or support team. So I'm just going to throw some temporary uh, invalid phone numbers in here. Uh, when I go to test it, I'll actually use a Twilio phone number that's connected up to my cell phone. But for now, we'll just put in some temporary phone numbers just to uh, complete the flow here. So we've got connect sales going to 555-555-1234 and support going to 555-1235. Now we want to connect one to connect sales and drag and connect sales to connect sales. And then do the same for two and support connecting them over to connect support. Awesome. Okay. Now on both of our splits, we have a no matches field. This is when they either press three or say something like marketing or whatever, something that's not valid on the, on the gather. So in that case, we want to say a message that says that they made an invalid choice. So we'll just say, sorry, but that's, that's not a valid choice. Uh, try again. So that's going to uh, say over the phone using text to speech again, when they haven't put a uh, match in that we expected and when that is done being read out we will connect them back over to the gather so that they can try again and that'll read the hello how can we direct your call again so this is what the entire flow looks like just like when we drew it up on the chalkboard right uh, pretty easy flow incoming call goes through the gather splits on the keys pressed or on the voice so let's connect this up to a phone number and give it a try uh, you can click right here and it'll take you right into the phone number purchasing screen I'm going to search for a 267 number to find something in the Philadelphia area since that's where I live. And Ambler's close enough, so we'll buy this phone number. Uh, and then once we've bought it, we can go into phone number setup. And inside of phone number setup, the thing we want to configure is what happens when a call comes in. We'll change this webhook to Studio Flow and choose our IVR. Saving it, we'll set up our phone number to work with our Studio Flow. 
So what I want to do in here is uh, change the sales number to be a phone number that I can actually call instead of this 555 number. So I'll click the widget again. We'll change the phone number over to my test phone number. Oh, just like I said, just a Twilio phone number that's hooked up to my cell phone. So punch that in and give this a save. And then I can take my phone out and give this a call. Hello, how can we direct your call? Press one for sales or say sales. So I'll start by making an invalid choice. Support, press two or say support. I'll press three. Sorry, but that's not a valid response. Please try again. Hello, how can we? This time I'll press one and you'll see the phone ring and my test phone will appear as it's receiving the call. Awesome, so that's the studio flow for the IVR going through the connect to sales using digits. Let's head back over to studio and switch the two phone numbers around. So I'll just swap the sales phone number, uh, my Twilio phone number over to the support field and we'll give the number a call again. This time I'll use voice. So I'll start by saying marketing, which will be invalid, which will go back to the gather. And then I'll say support, which will connect us back to my phone again. All right, so let's give this a call, 267-705-6323. Hello, how can we direct your call? Press 1 for sales or say sales. To reach support, press 2 or say support. Marketing. Sorry, but that's not a valid response. Please try again. Hello, how can we direct your call? Press 1 for sales or say sales. To reach support, press 2 or say support. Support. Now the call will be connected over to the support team, of course, being played by my test phone. You'll see it appear now, and I'll give it an answer. That's really all there is to it for creating a simple IVR using Twilio Studio with the drag and drop interface. Feel free to play around with the options. There's a lot that we haven't done in Studio in this video. I'm really excited to see what you're going to build with Twilio Studio. Drop me a note down in the comments if you build something, and we'll check it out.